Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Just gonna be sharing my cheat sheet for tonight's slate on FanDuel. So let's just get into it. Uh, we have Russell Westbrook. We don't really have to go too in depth there. He's one of the better spend ups of the slate. He's going. To, he's got a good matchup against the Magic, and it's a close spread. So I have no problem going there. Uh, Shabazz Napier, ever with uh, Spencer Dimity uh, being out, he should see around 20, 30 minutes, anywhere from in between there. And it's a good matchup against the uh, Chicago Bulls, and I imagine they get a good lead on them, and he could get some extra run. And Rajon Rondo, he's just a minute monster. He get nearly 40 points, not 40 points, 40 minutes a night, and I just love that value there. And at shooting guard, we have James Harden. I think some people might be getting off him, especially with the spread and with Chris Paul being back, but I've still been firing him up. I, st I think he's going to hit 70 fantasy points tonight. Uh, I know there is a blot risk, but he is James Harden. And he's just, I think he's the best play of the slate. And hopefully the game stays close, and then you're looking at a monster game from him, especially if he comes in at lower ownership. Uh, we also have Drew Holiday. He get, the, with the four guys being off the court, he gets a massive bump in fantasy points per minute, and he's got a high usage rate. So I have no problem going there. And KCP, he's going to see high minutes tonight. And which should be a good game, so I don't mind using him. Not the biggest fan of it, though. At small forward, Michael Beasley, he's probably going to be the chalk. He's getting a spot start. He's only 4,200, so I really like that. Rudy Gay in this matchup against the uh, Phoenix Suns. DeMar DeRozan's out, so he should be able to get around 30 minutes. And Wilson Chandler, just another guy who's going eat to eat up some minutes at a cheap price. I really don't like spending up at small forward tonight. At power forward, uh, Sean Holmes is going to be the chalk, I imagine. He's only 5,000, and he should see around 30 minutes uh, with DeAndre Ayton being out. So I think he's a fantastic play. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge with no DeMar DeRozan again. It's a great matchup. And Ed Davis, he's kind of more of a GPP play. It's a good matchup, and he's got upside, but he also has downside as well. So hopefully he can flash, uh, flash a good game. He had uh, roughly like... 43 points recently, and then he had a 27-point game as well. At center, Joel, Joel Embiid, he's got a great match against the Lakers, who just are not very good at rebounding, and I don't know anyone that's going to be able to stop him on defensively. Uh, Jul Julio Okafor, he's getting up there in price, but he's going to see a lot of minutes in the matchup. It's an okay matchup. He should be able to take advantage of it against Houston. Kenneth Fareed isn't the best defender, and with Clint Capella being out, obviously. He'll be able to attack the uh, Houston front court. So it is more than an okay matchup. It's a plus matchup. And uh, Zizek, he's going to get big minutes against the Wizards, who do not defend the center very well. He's getting a little pricey as well, but I still think he's at a good value. So we'll take a look at the example lineup. I have Rondo, Napier, Harden, Brown. He's the drop. Bruce Brown from the Pistons. He's going to be the guy that you drop. Rudy Gay, Beasley, Aldridge, Holmes, and Zizek, and that leaves you a hundred salary left. And if this this was with playing Harden, which I know a lot of you might not want to do tonight, so if you want to mess around with that, I think you could put in Booker and Russell instead of Harden and Brown, and then you could upgrade Zizek to Okafor if that's another route you want to go. And the bottom right here, we have our Vegas totals for tonight's slate. So if you have any questions, let me know. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe to the channel, and good luck.